In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this really awesome circle animation inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And what's best is this is really quick and really simple. This video is sponsored by Motion Elements. Now, as you will see on my timeline, I have got this blue solid and I've also got this green solid. This is basically just a placeholder for some video footage. So this isn't part of the tutorial. Just pretend this is a video and this is another video. So we're just going to lock that off to begin with. And now the first step of creating the tutorial is to go into the project tab. We'll go to the new item button, press black video, press OK, and we'll drag the black video to the point where those two clips cross over. So what I mean here is the end of the first clip and the start of the second clip. You can see this is the transition point. Now from here, I'm just going to go into effects and search for tint, T-I-N-T. That should be in color correction and we'll just drop that onto the black video on video layer two. Then we'll go into tint, select map black two, select the black box and we'll change the color of this to a color of your choice. So I'm going to go for yellow. Now from here, we need to go ahead and actually create the circle mask. So to do this, do not go down to here because this is going to create you a new shape. What we want to do is select the black video, go to the effect controls window, go to opacity, and select the create ellipse mask button. And that will create this. Now, the first step we want to do is to just pull the feathering down. If we zoom all the way in to a really high number, so let's go 800, you can see if that is up to 10 where it was, we get this soft edge. But if we pull that down to zero, it gives us a nice crisp edge. And that's exactly what we need here. Now from here, feel free to adjust the points in the mask to make that a bit more of a circle. But once you're generally happy with that, we can now just go ahead and select inverted. So we've flipped the mask around. So everything on the outside of the mask is now colored. So in order to create the transition, we are just going to increase the expansion all the way up to the point where the yellow disappears or the color of your choice, which is around here. And this is going to be the starting point of our transition. So we want to go to that crossover point, the end of the first start of the second, and we'll take that maybe 10 frames to the left and create a brand new keyframe on the mask expansion. Then we'll go a similar distance past the transition point. So we're going over to this point. So we're finding that halfway point and then going even further and we'll create a brand new keyframe at the same point. Now we're going to go to the point where the clips cross over. We'll go one frame to the left and we'll pull the mask expansion down until the screen is completely yellow, which is here. Then we are just going to copy that keyframe. So highlight that keyframe. We'll go Command or Control C. Then we'll go two frames to the right. And then we'll go Command or Control V to paste that in. So we've just got two frames where it's just holding there. And now when we play this back, you can see this is our transition. Before we carry on with this video, I first just want to take a very quick moment to talk about motion elements. Motion Elements is an online marketplace where you can download video files, stock footage, audio files, Premiere Pro templates, After Effects templates, Notion files, so much more. It's a really great platform for all of your creative needs. And because they are a sponsor of this channel, if you use this code, then you will receive a really nice big discount on your first month subscription. Now back to the video. Now, if you wanted to change the look of the animation, then we can just change the keyframes themselves. So if we go to this first keyframe, we'll right click and go ease out. Second keyframe will be ease in. Third keyframe will be ease out. And then the fourth keyframe will be ease in. And now when we play this back, you'll see that looks a lot nicer. It looks a lot more fluid. Essentially, an ease in means rather than stopping at the keyframe, it's going to slowly ease into it. So a soft landing. And then the ease out is the exact same, but just going out. So when we leave the keyframe, we're going out of it softly and then speeding up. So it's not linear. It's not starting and stopping at the same speed. We're getting a nice transition in and out. It just helps for a more fluid animation. Now that's the transition completed. But before we finish this video, I just want to show you a little tip. So I press C on the keyboard, scroll through to the point where the transition is happening, which is here and make a cut. And now I can use this as a template for every other clip moving forward. So rather than trying to drag a whole clip over and figure out where the transition point is, if I've got that cut there, I can just drag that cut to the point where one clip starts or ends. And as you can see, that transition will be perfectly in time. Now, just a few troubleshooting things before we finish this video. 
you always want to make sure that the screen is filled because if we finish a transition here, you'll notice the video clip will change over in that small gap. So you want to make sure the entire screen is filled with the solid in order for this to work. And I know this might be a bit of basic knowledge for a lot of people watching this video, but it's really important to note that Premiere Priorities video is higher up on the timeline than down below. So if it's not working for you, it might be because there is a video clip on top of the transition. So because this video clip pops in, we have the transition, but then it all of a sudden cuts. And that is because the transition is not at the top. So it's always worth making sure that the transition sits on top of absolutely everything in order for it to work. And there we go. That is this tutorial now complete. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you on a future video. See you there.